hello. It is me, again. <sighs> I went from taking a break and posting no videos to posting like a whole bunch of videos at once, but that's because this is an epic hair transformation and my phone can only record, or like record, process, render, whatever, edit like 25 minutes of video to 30 minutes of video at a time, so I'm pretty limited. One day, I'll get a new cell phone. But this one's been trucking for years and it's second hand. Anyway, let's get back on track as I play with my fresh bleached bangs, which I'm super duper into. Um, I finally decided what color I'm going to go with. After much deliberation, I've decided not to start with the yellow because I'm not entirely sure that I actually want like lemon yellow hair. I'm a little bit worried about what color that's going to make my pinky blah chicken flesh look. So, because like I don't even wear a lot of yellow because I'm kind of afraid of yellow, but I also love it. I think it's such a pretty color, but it makes me look a little dead, which is, I mean, looking dead is not bad. I don't know. Anyway, long story short, I settled on, ta-da, Electric Paradise, which is the pinky UV reactive pink. But since my hair is clearly still pretty yellow, I think it's going to turn like a very bright orange on the yellow parts. And then on the parts that are like almost white, maybe it'll turn pinkish. But I'm really enticed by the UV reactive aspect of this color and I have some black lights so I think if it does react to a black light I want to do a black light based makeup look around it so well, here I am just stalling again looking at my bangs I kind of like them like yellow blonde but at the same time I've had like yellow blonde streaks in the front of my head for almost a year now I'm getting kind of tired of it also I just haven't been feeling like as myself recently and like cheerful and like I don't know I feel like I've been trying to wake myself up from like a long dark sleep and I'm kind of hoping that by making my hair a really bright fun color that it will make me feel that way on the inside <laughs> so anyway I'm gonna put my gloves on and put this atomic or I keep calling I want to call it atomic pink because that used to be my favorite shade of pink from um was it special effects? It was almost like, I think it was their UV pinky purple, like fond memories. But I'm hoping this is gonna be so bright that it can brighten every dark corner. Cause I was super digging my bangs and I wanna look like, I wanna look like the girl from like, one of those characters from like Wrecking Ralph, like, <laughs> you know. Anyway, on to the hair dyeing. Okay, I put it in the bowl. It actually looks like really salmon and pinky orange. Putting on my gloves on my tiny hands. I'm a tiny person though, so like, it makes sense that I have tiny hands. If you see me in real life, you know. I'm a shrimp bowl. Okay. Uh, here it is in the bowl. It's a little wet in the bowl still since I used this for bleach earlier. Very salmony, day glowy. It looks like, it looks like a color that I want my candy to be. I'm just going to hit this bowl in the sink. I'm just going to use my fingers to put it in because, I don't know, I'm a heathen. I used the brush enough for one day. This stuff too, I feel like you can just like rub it through your hair. It's not like bleach. It's like soft and smooth and oh, it even kind of smells good compared to bleach. Bleach is so gross. I really hate bleaching my hair, like truly. I used to dye my hair like all the time, but as I got older, I feel like I got lazier. Or not even lazier, just like busier with other things. Which is sad, really. Because I love having dyed hair. Oh, I lied about that being enough. That was definitely not enough that I put in the bowl. I'll just squeeze more out. I'll try and keep this club clean so I don't 
gunk up the bottle too much. But if my face looks like sallow and reflective and shiny, it's because I put um, like bio oil and then Vaseline on it because pink hair dye always stains my skin and then I look like I have like a rash or some kind of disease and it makes me so annoyed. So yeah, I like greased up my head so that I wouldn't stain my face with pink hair dye. I guess I could I guess I'm just going to carry on and check back in when I'm lathered up my whole head. Parts of it are orange, parts of it are pink. We'll see what it looks like when I'm done soaking my whole head in it. that were bleached, that I bleached like the second time, are definitely looking pink. And then the parts that are like bleached for the first time that were super yellow are like bright orange. So I feel like I'm gonna look like a strawberry orange sherbet ice cream, which is super exciting. I hope it just doesn't like rinse out and like not stay or something, but like fingers crossed that the next time when I come back and it's blow dried and rinsed out, it's just looking luscious, like Sour Patch Kids sugar candy. So, super excited. <laughs> so, as you can see, I'm back. And it's all rinsed out. And I'm still struggling with how I'm going to let my bangs lay. And I can't stop touching it, and it looks amazing. It's actually much brighter, I don't know, and more pink. Like, it worked out better than I thought it would. So I guess we'll see how long this lasts. I feel like my bangs are going to look better tomorrow, actually, when they're a little greasy and less, like, fluffy, like, greasy, oh, like, a little section-y. But... I might still have to trim some of them because they're like decidedly on my face. I think I like them this way. But yeah, it's actually pretty even. It's interesting, the stuff that was like golden brown almost looks like still kind of golden brown, golden browny orange. But I haven't tested whether or not it glows in a black light yet, so we'll see. But yeah. It looks super good. I'm happy with how it came out. So, hair video with makeup to match coming soon. Yay! Like and subscribe for more random stuff, I guess.